What are the x and y values for the following system? x minus 12 equals 4y, 6x equals 60y, and we've got a, b, c, d, and e answer choices. So let's have you pause the video, try this out, and then when you're ready, we'll go over it. Okay, so there's a bunch of different ways to do this question, and I'm gonna just show you what I think is the most straightforward way to do it, but you might have done this a completely different way, and maybe you just got completely stuck and you're just, you're about to skip ahead in the video because you're just so confused and you don't know how to do this. If that's the case, don't worry. We're going to break it down how to do it just like always. The first thing that I see here is that I'm going to label this as equation one and I'm going to label 6x equals 60y as equation two. That's just to help me keep track of things and I think it's going to help it make it a little bit easier to understand here. What I can do for equation two is I can simplify it. All right, so I'm going to divide 6x by 6 and I'm going to divide 60y by 6. So when I do that, I can rewrite equation two as x equals 10. You might say, why is it x equals 10? Remember, I divided by six on both sides of the equation. 60 divided by six is 10. Six divided by six is just one. I don't need to write the one, I just leave the x there. All I've done is I've taken equation two and I've simplified it and my equation two becomes x equals 10. If you skip that step, that's okay. You didn't have to do that step to get the question right, but I just would recommend always think about, is there a way I can simplify this? There won't always be on your test, but in this case, we had an easy simplification we could make. That's why I have x equals 10. The next step, or at least the next step that I would do, I would go back into equation one and, or this should say x, this should say x equals 10y, x equals 10y, not just x equals 10, x equals 10y. We have to keep the y a right. We have to keep the y along for the right here. So now when I go back to equation one, I'm going to rewrite it. Instead of writing x minus 12, I'm going to write 10y minus 12 equals 4y. Now, you might be wondering right now, well, why on earth did I rewrite that as 10y minus 12? What happened to the x? We know from equation 2 that x equals 10y. So x and 10y are the same exact thing. So I don't have to write x. I can write 10y instead because they're equal. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get an equation where I only have one variable. An x is a variable, a y is a variable, a variable is just a fancy math term for something that it's we don't know what it is. And the whole point of this these types of questions is that the, you always want to first try to figure out what y equals, and then you can use that information to get x, or vice versa. All right, you can also start by finding x and use that to get y. Doesn't matter how you start it, but I now have an equation that is only as one variable, only as a y. So now I can go to work here. So what I would do to simplify this is I would add 12 to both sides of the equation. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides of my equation. Everything to the left of the equal sign, I would call, I would say that that's the left-hand side and everything on the right is the right-hand side. So on the left-hand side of my equation, the 12s are gonna cancel out because minus 12 plus 12 cancels out. But on the right-hand side of the equation, what I'm gonna have, I've got 10y equals 4y plus 12. All right, so this is a fundamental skill. I know this might seem tedious. You'd probably rather be doing something else, but this is just basic. I just want you to know basic math mistakes often sink a lot of people. Like the strategies for GED math, after you've practiced with them and you've watched enough videos, You'll probably get most of the strategies down, but just understanding basic math stuff and, and not making basic math errors, that's really can oftentimes separate a passing and a failing score. So that's why I'm explaining every little detail here. But now what I want to do is I want to subtract 4y from both sides of the equation. 4y minus 4y cancels out. 10y minus 4y is going to be 6y. So I now have 6y equals 12. Again, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to find what y equals. So 6y is the same as 6 times y. And I want to get y. So I want to do the opposite of multiplication. Since it's 6 times y, to get rid of that 6, I want to do division. Now, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. We now have y equals 2, because 12 divided by 6 is 2. All right, so perfect. So now I know what y is equal to. So I did all that work to find y. All I have to do now is go back into either one of the equations. I'm just going to go back to equation 2. So equation 2, I simplified it to x equals 10y. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to substitute 2 in place of y. So I know that y equals 2, so I'm going to take this 2 and I'm going to substitute it in for y here in equation 2. Now again, I could have also done it up here in equation 1. It doesn't matter. I just think it's easier to do it in 2 in this case. So I have now 10 times 2, which 10 times 2 is 20, which would tell me that x equals 20. So the correct answer here is b. x equals 20, y equals 2. 
So this red solution actually shows a slightly different way to do the problem than what I showed you, um, but it's very similar concept. So you can pause the video, take all the time you need to study this, and then when you're ready, we'll go to the next question.